All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be installing remote start on the Tiguan. Well, trying to. So I got the Evo all here. Uh, cut off eBay. This is the model VWT6, THAR-VW6. Um, it's going to be interesting. As far as I know, you need a spare key when you do this. Um, according to what the description said when I bought it, they said that it requires a spare key to stay in the car. So we'll see if that's actually what it needs or not. But I have two keys for the car, so that's not a problem. So my spare key. I have the box. I have the harness. This is a supposedly a direct plug and play no splicing. So it's got your DLC connector, jumper basically, your new harness. And then it's got, not sure which one this one is. I believe this is for the um, wire for the signal basically around the key, not sure. And it's got two other connectors, not really sure where they go. This one's for a hood pin, which you can program this box and tell it that the car already has a hood pin and use a factory alarm to be able to arm or disarm it. So that's gonna get ignored. This is also another bypass on this harness. Um, so they're literally just gonna get plugged together. These two connectors get plugged together, but the instructions are very confusing. So I'm gonna try and make sense of it. I'll make the mistakes then show you what works. So THR, THAR-VW6, which is the kit we have. And this is the connector. So from what I can tell, the TV-VW right here. As long as you have that, you're not splicing into the, I don't know what it's called, the little ring that reads the signal from your key, the RF ring. This is just male and female connector, so you can jump it, basically. So, I have the directions here. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go into the car. I'll put the directions in the description if you want to look at them. There's multiple different kits. So, there's one where you just wire it up manually. So, it shows black loom and the key reader located around the ignition barrel that gets cut and spliced. But because we have this kit with that jumper, we don't cut it. We just jump in between it. So there's a wire-to-wire -wire kit. There's the kit I have, the VR6. And there's a 2VW. That one uses a hood pin. That one also gets cut. Just a lot different. So we're going to focus on this one. This is what we're using. So I'm going to go in, pull the bottom, call them off the bottom. And I'll pick up from there. All right. Pulled our first panel here. <sighs> kind of gonna just dig in here. I'm gonna pull the side cover off. I don't think you need to, but I'm gonna do it. All right, next one, pull the bottom of this off. Torx, straight up under here, that square. I believe it's a T20. T20. Top panel comes off. And now the key goes in. Turn it to the side and there's two torque screws.
are out, two screws. All right, panels off. See what we're working with here. Get up underneath. Here's our three connectors. Yellows, airbags. Middle one, I'm not too sure. This end one has a red tab. And from looking at this harness, the remote start, I see one that has a red tab. So I'm going to assume that this is where it goes. Unplug it and put this in as a jumper. So let me show you how to get that out. It's just a push like that, pulls down, click this in. Gentle with it, don't want to break the stuff. Pull straight out. Then grab our harness with the pin. Alright, so we want a it's a 24 pin, which if you look at this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, so that's not it. So then B is a 16 pin connector. So I'll pull up the harness here, the one with the red connector, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, not it. A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And if you look, it doesn't have the red tab in it, but it has the bar on the side here. This one has the bar on the side, whereas B looks the exact, almost the exact same, but the bar is on the wrong side. So, we're gonna put A straight up into it, just like this. Snap that in. Make sure it's locked. And now the other end of the harness is gonna go into the jumper, just like that. So then it goes in down into the jumper, into the remote start, so it can jam the signal, so to speak. So that's the first one done. We're just gonna kind of like squish it all up in here. See where our next connector is. Okay. So next connector is right there on the ring on the key just barely can sneak it by. Push that tab in, slide it back. Like just barely fits. And then the wire comes up. So this wire right here, you can see it moving. So we're gonna kinda Push it down. Pull it back a little bit. I'm just gonna put it back here for now. Right. This is the next connector. We got blue and black. This is blue and brown, but same setup. It's gonna be a jumper. Plug that part in. Actually, hold on, let me redo this. Okay, jumper's plugged in. Now this end 
my harness is going to go in. Don't know if I'll be able to really show it. But it's going to plug into here, pin out the back. I'm kind of just try and bend it so I can find it. fits this has a little bit of movement so just look at that so there's those two there we go so now two more connectors this one which is b which is a 20 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 pin connector we gotta find and our OBD jumper, which I know exactly what that is. It's right there. Next to all this mess of wiring. So I'm going to take a look for a second, try and find this 14 pin, oh, whatever. Try and find where this connector is real quick. All right, got the OBD plug, D pin kind of. Not D pin, but released two tabs right there one on the back and it just pushes out of its connector all right so stock connector i just looped the harness up here these two are going to plug together it's going to be hard to do with one hand but i think you can Imagine how it's going to go, just like this. It's got a locking tab. Right there, you can see it on the back. That's locked. Oh. Now we're just going to take our new jumper. Pretty much go up in this mess. It is a mess because I have my meth wiring up here. Just wiggle it into your original connector. Yeah. Sits up there. thing back into it there it is it snapped in it's kind of just sitting up here for now so now our last connection is this which we got to figure out where this connector is so I'm gonna dig around and back all right so reading through this a which is a is also one that's connected two doesn't exist so it says 16 pin harness isolate not connected so, I'm going to assume that does not get connected. And just leave them unplugged for now and try that. And then over here, foot brake, red. From the BCM, connect only if brake must be pressed to start, which it doesn't need to be, so ignore it. Hazard, optional, don't care. Connector connected. Mm -hmm. 
we're back after a little bit of trial and error, trying to disc just understand these instructions. Really confusing, but I managed to get it to work. So, again, all our connections are the same. It's the bypass one here and the one here up top, and the one for the key cylinder. So those two just gets plugged to itself. This doesn't get plugged to anything. And this gets le left unplugged. This is for another model. They just have it on the harness in case. So, here's the box. Let me walk you through the instructions the best I understand how it works. So, pull my iPad here. So, you're on the... You get done installing everything like we did. Everything's connected. Let me try and get that out of the sun. All right, everything's connected. Everything's connected like we talked about. Those two connectors and the DLC or the OBD port. That's it. Three connections. Programming. This was really confusing for me, so I'll try and break it down how I did it. Press and hold the programming button. So let me show you. You got your box. Right there's a little button. You push and hold that. If I had my GoPro, I would redo this to show you how I did it, but I'm just going to walk you through You push and hold it with nothing connected, and then connect this harness right here that my finger is pointing to. Not this one, this one. While holding it, you're going to push and hold that, then connect that with nothing else plugged in. So that's the first step. The blue, red, and yellow will illuminate. Release it when it goes to a blue LED. So they're going to be flashing back and forth. It's going to go blue, let go of it. Then you connect the required remaining harnesses. So you just plug the rest in, the other three. The red, white, and that big white one. Okay? Turn the key to on. So you're going to turn it to on, and you wait. The blue LED is going to flash rapidly. Then you're going to press and hold the programming button. You wait till it turns red, and then you release the programming button. Then you just leave it. The blue, red, and yellow are all going to start flashing like crazy, and you just wait until red goes solid. Then you wait for the red and yellow to slowly alternate. They'll just go back and forth, red, yellow, red, yellow. Then you turn the key off. That's it. Then you're going to unplug it. So again, you got to do it in this order. Or it screws everything up. So disconnect all the connectors and after the data loading connector. So you're going to un you're going to disconnect red, white, white and then the black one last. You have to do it in that order or it screws it up. You're going to bring it into your computer. You have to have a computer to do this. You bring it into the computer and you plug it in and it shows <sighs> it's just a, a pop-up menu basically you, uh, you know what? i'll go inside and i'll show you all right so your kit comes if you got the kit i got this is right here the evo rs it comes with everything the evo VWT6. So it comes with this box with the USB cable and this four pin connector. So plug it in, plug it in your computer, download the software, Flash Manager 4, which you can get it from that website that I'll put in the description. One end goes into the box, the other end is going to go into this box. Just like that, connectors in. Computer instantly recognizes it. So this is what it's gonna pull up. It's gonna be different for you. You have to select everything. So Volkswagen 13 Tiguan, standard key, standard installation, ignore that. Bypass options. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and select everything. So it'll be either suggested Which I'm not going to do it because I don't want to screw everything up. Okay, this is what it'll be right here. 
This is what it's going to show. Um, if you want to manually go through, which you have to, if you want it to work, you hit off for settings protection. This is what it pulls up. All your options. A1 door locks, door lock, unlock control, trunk release, immobilizer bypass. You want that on. Low temperature heated seats and rear defrost. You probably want that on. Right sliding door, power lift gate. Don't got to worry about that. Foot brake option, handbrake, door trigger, trunk trigger, hood trigger. Unlock before trunk release. I don't know what any of these mean. Ignition lock, not worried. Parking light control, still don't know. Unlock driver door only. Simulate OE, Simulate the OEM key fob with driver door priority unlocked on first unlock signal. All doors unlock in second. I want that. I'm going to turn that on. Data link remote start mode. Uh, I don't really know about that. OEM remote monitoring. Send OEM remote lock and unlock connections to remote starter or alarm system via data link. I want that on. This is what you got to turn on. A standalone remote start. This is what you want. Remote start vehicle when OEM remote lock button is pressed three times. That's what you want. You're turning this setting on. It's going to be off by default. You turn it on and it brings up another pop-up. Lock, unlock, lock. So you can change it. You can do three clicks on the lock to start it or lock, unlock, lock. I'm going to leave that off. I just want three clicks. Disable second start attempt. Diesel mode. Three minute runtime. Seven minute. Fifteen. Thirty minute. And sixty minute. I'm just going to have fifteen minute. Here you go. Lock, lock, lock. That's my setting. Crank twenty seconds. Not really sure. I don't know if that's like a maximum cutoff it'll do. Not gonna worry about it. Unlock before, lock after. Automatically unlock and disarm before remote start and relock and rearm after remote start. So if you just wanna make sure it goes through and locks all your doors, you can turn that on. Open door shutdowns, uh, remote starter shuts down engine when doors open, I don't want that hybrid mode. Lock after start, I want it to lock it. Special functions, GPS, don't really care about any of that stuff. Evo alarm system, don't care. RF kits, don't care. So, you get all that done. You hit save options. Here you go, save into the module. Done, and then you go to decryptor, transfer key data. You hit send data. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it. You hit send data. It's going to go from acquire to process, and then it's going to make a key for you, and then upload it to the box, reboot it, and that's it. So that's the walkthrough of it. We'll go back to the car. All right, here we are again, back of the car. You got your module flash. Time to hook it up. So first connector is going to be that four pin, and then the other three follow. Four pin. Big one, white, red. All right, there you go. Module's good. No lights are on, which is what you want. The last step, which I'm going to show you on the iPad. All right. Key bypass. You want your lights off. Or red and yellow. Turn the key on. Yellow will come on. Which mine didn't do this. Turn the key to on, run. So. On, run. I got a solid yellow. Turn the key to on run, yellow will turn off. Red and yellow will illuminate and then you turn it off and you're done. That's the last step. It tells you to reprogram it again, but we just did that in both steps. Let's try it out. All right, lock the car. I'm gonna wait for it to shut down basically you can see it's still it's still active so we give it a second to go out here we go it's off this is the only key this kit doesn't require you to keep one in it it basically copies the signal and stores it to start it so here we go key in my hand three three slow clicks
gonna hit unlock. Open our door. Get in. Car is running. If I touch the brake, it's gonna kill it. So don't touch the brake yet, unless you want to shut it off. Or key. Turn it on. Don't try and start it. it is really easy the just the instructions make it look way harder but one more time quick run through connector on the top of the ignition barrel right here gets unhooked there's a factory connector into the jumper jumper into the ignition harness gets unplugged from the bottom into the jumper into that then your dlc connector your data link connector way back under the dash and then following the directions that i gave you because they make more sense that gets plugged to itself hood pin gets left unplugged and your b connector just sits here now we're going to tuck everything up under the dash Make sure you leave plenty of room for the steering wheel to expand and contract, <laughs> extend, whatever you want to call it. But make sure you leave room for that in the harness here because it's got to be able to telescope and that's what it is. So make sure you leave slack in your cables when you put them under here. So we're going to tuck everything and put it back together. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful uh it looks way more daunting than it is literally all you need is a um pocket screwdriver for prying stuff apart and t20 for your three screws that hold the the console on and that's it so that's it for this video if you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions about it i'll try and help you out just text just leave a comment below and let me know what you had a problem with i might be able to help you out but that's it. Catch you in the next one. Peace.